Hey guys, what's up? And this is my first impressions of the PlayStation Move, and I've have I haven't had it long enough to do a review, but you know, let me at least give you a little insight on it. See maybe if you want to buy it or not, and my opinions of it so far. So basically, I got the bundle. I didn't bring the box with me. I don't know why, but um, it comes with uh, the actual controller. We've got sports championships or sports champions and the camera and the demo disc which is $99.99 pretty good price in my opinion it's it's fair you know I thought it was gonna be more Xbox's connect is 150 and that's pushing it but different story but let's get to the controller this is an awesome controller I think it's so cool it's so slick um, it feels much better than the Wii motion controller because it, it's like basically kind of long and flat and this one kind of has a curve to it so it's kind of shaped to f shaped to fit your arm or your hand and that's pretty cool it's gonna get a little getting used to at first because the buttons you know you got the square circle triangle um, X like they're kind of right here they're kind of small they're not they're not all that big and you kind of have to, you know, look at which one's placed where. But I assume after a while you'll get used to it. But there's also the action button right here, which is standard. And then you got the trigger back here. You'll probably use this, the action button and the trigger majority of the time. And you also have the PlayStation Home button. You got the select and you got the start on the side. It gets a little, you know, you need to get used to it a little bit at first. It's, it's a bit different, but... You will, trust me. It's just, just like anything, you know, it has a small learning curve, not too bad. Um, what I love about it, though, is the ball on top, the ice cream cone, which some people like to call it, but it's very cool. I don't really know how necessary it was to have it. I assume, you know, they, you prob they probably needed to put it on there, but it's very cool. It lights up. Uh, if you got two controllers, this one will be probably pink, and the second one will be blue. But depending on the game you're playing or what you're doing in the game, it will change colors, which is kind of cool. And it, you know, if it's if you're kind of in a dark-ish lit room and it lights up, it just kind of pops. It's very cool. Uh, battery life. There's it doesn't use batteries, I don't believe. But you stick in. It's like the the PS controller, how it has that little cable, the USB cable. You you stick in here and then connect to your computer or your PS3. Same thing. It's at the bottom right here. Very cool. It's got a strap so you don't throw it, and uh, what else is there to say about it? Oh, it's very sensitive. Um, I've noticed you can use this when you're controlling your anything, like when you're on the PS3 menu and you're going through your music or you're, you're going through the friends list or whatever, you basically hold this down, the trigger, and you kind of just go like that. You know, if you want to go left, you go left. If you want to go right, you go right. Or opposite, because the camera. But if you want to go up, you know, you go up and you hold it. But the thing is, when you hold it up, a lot of times it'll go all the way up through your list. Which can be a little annoying at times. But yeah, I guess if you want to go slow, you trigger once and let go. Trigger once, let go. You know, if you want to go through slower in the list. But you'll get used to it. Uh, the ball is kind of, you know, kind of... You can you know play with it a little bit it's it, I'm pretty sure it will not come off unless you literally try and get it off but it's pretty sturdy it feels nice not too heavy just about right really cool next up I'm gonna talk about the PlayStation Eye camera it is kinda eh it's alright I noticed the the picture uh, that you see of yourself of the camera it's alright it does it does the job it's not like a it's not like an iMac or a MacBook camera or anything like that, but I guess it does a job. Um, apparently, there's a speaker here. I tried. Um, I tried. There, there was a game where you had to kind of talk, and I tried doing it, but it didn't record record my voice. So I don't know. Maybe I'm. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing, but I, I don't know. I it's speaker, and I couldn't really get it to do anything. But the camera's okay. Um, could be better. I mean, for a hundred bucks, you would think they'd throw in a better one. Or, like, I know people are saying this is kind of, like, old. Like, it's kind of the same one from PS2. But you would think with a new product coming out, they would make a better camera. So, and I have a feeling they're going to. And it's going to piss a lot of people off. But, you know, what are you going to do? If you're anxious like me and you want to buy something, you just go out and buy it. 
Uh, next up, I'll talk about this game. It's pretty damn good. It's Sports Champions, and it's pretty much uh, Wii Sports, but for PS3. But the graphics are a lot better, obviously. Uh, the Wii graphics are kind of kitty. Um, it's just, eh, you know, it, it, does its, it does the job. But graphically, I'm really impressed with this. It's, it's really nice. Uh, there are six sports. There's uh, archery, which is my absolute favorite. It's a blast. You have different things you can do. There'll be a target that will kind of move back and forth. And you're, you go like this. You hold the trigger to get it, the arrows from your back. You go like that. Then you hold it out like this. And then you're basically trying to line up the cursor with the targets. And you let go. Bam. Or it's action. I can't remember which one. But it's really fun. You do that. There'll be money bags thrown at you and you gotta hit those and there's watermelons that you gotta hit and you can do tic-tac-toe really fun there's also table tennis which is a it's it's really good but I'm, I'm and I'm good at table tennis but I find myself having a little trouble with it but I'll get used to it but you know it's basic um, volleyball which I like I know a lot of people don't like the volleyball but I like it a lot and um, you know you go like that to uh, pass it and then if you're gonna spike you basically go like that and if you're gonna block you put your hands up kind of cool uh, there is a uh, I forgot what it's called it's called bocce you just throw the balls um, very fun uh, gladiator duel it's okay it's you know you basically you got a sword and you're trying to break the guy's shield and hit him it's pretty good and uh, you've got disc golf which is frisbee it's good um the game has like i think it's like 12 characters and you basically go through each sporting event the more the better you do you unlock outfits characters um stuff like that it's, it's pretty fun it's um it's definitely right now the best game to get uh you you, you can't go wrong with a game like this you know motion controllers are really meant for sports games and this is by far the best one. It's it's definitely fun. Uh, it says that you can use two of these, and you can, but you can use one for all of them, and it'll be fine. But uh, the only one I could see that you would really want to get another one for is maybe um, Gladiator Duel, because you can have the other one be the shield, although you can use the trigger as the shield. But um, Or you can use Archery. You could hold the other one like that, but you don't really need it. But uh, one will be just fine. Uh, so this game is great. So if you're gonna get a game, obviously if you're getting the bundle, you're gonna get this. But if you already have the camera and you just want this and you want a game, this is the one to get. So also, there is a demo disc, which a lot of people claim is the best demo disc. And yeah, you can definitely say that just because there's a lot. There's like I think 12 demos. The only thing I don't like is on the disc, it has all the demos already downloaded on the disc, but the things you have to transfer the demo from the disc to your PS3 and that can take a little time and there's a lot so I didn't really like that but and because of that I only was able to download like four or five um, from the ones I played I played uh, the one with the pet that's really stupid I didn't like it uh, you know you have to put the camera down and then you have the pet there and you wash the pet and that's all I was able to do is wash the pet it was kind of stupid didn't like it there's another one called um, like famous or something like you're famous you, you're pretty much playing um like a dance-ish game where you you like you, you swing around the control didn't like it at all um there was another one where uh it was like a party game where you, you're basically on the game like you, you see yourself through the camera and you're supposed to like hit flies and whatever that was okay and there's another one called um it was like a kung fu Kung Fu Rider game. Uh, that was actually pretty cool. It was a little difficult to understand some of the movements, but that game could be fun. I know a lot of people are saying it's stupid, but honestly, I thought it was the second best thing I've played on it, and it's different, and it's kind of cool. kind of has a Tony Hawk vibe where you're, you know, you're going down a chair, and you could, like, grind on, like, power lines and stuff. It's kind of cool. I like it. So anyways, guys, that's my, uh, uh, my first look at the, or first impression of PlayStation Move. I definitely suggest getting it. I think it's pretty cool, but um, it's for the casual gamer. So thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.